Hey guys, it's Jehan. Welcome back to my channel. Today is my first Decorate With Me video for Christmas. I am so excited to share with you guys my ideas this year. Last year, I did not decorate much for Christmas because we just moved in this house in December and I had a two-month-old baby girl. My focus was on her. We have decorations from previous years and we also purchased some new decorations to fill in. My theme this year is to use gold decors and then add some reds. I think I went a little crazy with the gold. Let me know guys what you think and let's get to it. So this is me wearing a red black plaid shirt to get into the mood and I'm going to grab my new coffee mug and turn on some Christmas music. Before I start decorating, I have a few dishes to take care of and cleaning in the kitchen. I also have to relocate some of my plants for clearing the space where I am going to put the Christmas tree. Thanks to my husband for helping me. have here a really nice tree that we purchased at Costco last year and we are assembling it. I love this Christmas tree because it's easy to assemble and it's pre-lit. It has a remote controller to turn the lights on and off and to change the modes and it only takes about five minutes to install. had some of my fall decors up in the dining area which I needed to put away. I didn't do much this year for fall because I was excited for Christmas decors. As you can see, I am wrapping the breakable decors like the pumpkins so they don't break. I am wiping the top of the cabinet and cleaning to make sure that there is no dust. My idea for this entry hutch was to create a winter snow effect. I had a white furry mat that I bought at Bed Bath & Beyond. Then I arranged and rearranged my gold decors to look their best. There you have it! Let me know what you think about my arrangement. Go ahead and comment down below. In our family room, I have several tables to decorate. Before I start, I have to remove some of my everyday decors and place more gold decors. Like I said earlier, I went crazy on gold. I wasn't aiming on like a glam look, but I think it is a glam look. I also have a wreath that I am hanging on the pantry door. 
on the wreath, I put some micro lights around it to add some sparkle and a gold bow. I have here a fancy gold garland that I bought at Hobby Lobby. I am going to attach it over the doorway at the dining room with command hooks. Next, I'm doing a simple DIY project. I have a pretty gold glass vase. The first thing I have to do is clean the vase with a glass cleaner. After that, I put a battery operated strand of LED micro lights in the bottom of the vase. Next, I placed some Christmas bulbs and pine cones to complete it. Hey guys, it's day two and this morning is a little messy so I started cleaning the kitchen, the countertops, put the dishes away and right now I am wearing my cleaning shirt and I'm gonna do clean the floor and start decorating again. I have a simple little wicker basket that I added some nature ornaments and Christmas bulbs to create a nice accent piece for the kitchen counter. In our guest bathroom, I was able to decorate the counter area with the little Christmas tree and accent pieces along with the Christmas towels. It's time to decorate the Christmas tree. The first thing I'm doing is putting the gold laced ribbon around the tree. I created a curly wave pattern as the base decoration. I found this to be a little challenging because I'm having a hard time attaching the ribbon. The material is not that it's not wired and creating a proper spacing is hard for me. After completing the ribbon, we called it a night and tomorrow is another day. 
So I like to involve my family in decorating our Christmas tree because it's our family tradition and we enjoy it so much. So what we're doing here is attaching the largest bulbs first and space them on the tree. Next, we place the medium bulbs and finally the smaller bulbs and other ornaments like the icicles that we bought at Costco last year. And they're so cute. And our tree is done! Before I forget, I added a furry throw blanket that I bought last year in our living room. I simply tossed the blanket over the back of the couch and let it drape on the seat and to make it look like a cozy space. And that's all for this video. Here's the last look of our home Christmas decor. I hope you like it. Let me know which one is your favorite. Please comment down below and thank you so much for watching guys. See you on my next video.